Hi guys, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Spellbound Caves series. And I uh, actually just had an interesting... So I was uh, I was over here um, making a railway. I'm gonna, I decided to just go ahead and make a railway. I'm going to make it go back through kind of how we came in and send our stuff home uh, back to the Victory Monument place. But anyway, I noticed that there was stuff spawning behind me and I realized that it's probably happening up here. So I just stacked up some blocks came up here and there was a bunch of junk up here that I had to kill you can see a creeper blue and <laughs> had some interesting interesting times and then uh, found this which is very cool so we're not going to be hurting for coal for a while however my helmet totally gone um <laughs> not didn't even get to use it once so I, I think that was really stupid to put it on um and I don't really know what to do about that so I'm just going to have to deal with it. Hopefully I can, I don't know, maybe I can create my own. There's a ton of coal up there too. So anyway, a lot of redstone and coal in here and uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that I found this and I will, uh, I'll be back and finish up this episode after I get the, uh, after I get the railway gone over there and then we'll go down and check out what's, what's down there. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I've done a fair amount of work. Um, just can give you guys an overview. Put in a track um, and built, I basically just built this bridge all the way over. And it goes up and it goes back to our Victory Monument. Uh, put some torches up there so that things don't spawn. I was having trouble with that. And what else? Um, yeah, I wanted to show, I think, that is iron right there. But I can't tell for sure. It could be dirt or who knows, but it looks like iron. Which makes me think that's probably what that helmet that we had of of Aqua Affinity or whatever <laughs> was for, and I put it on stupidly, and uh, it got beat up pretty quick. There's also a lot of coal. You can see a ton of coal down there. So I think we're we're doing pretty good. So what I wanted to show was how to do this cart thing, and most of you probably watching this already know, um, but I figured it was worth a little tutorial. Um, so you put down this rail, you can put a power rail down and you put the the redstone next to it and it's going to shoot it on, right? So a couple of things to keep in mind that an occupied cart by a person um, will maintain momentum a lot longer than an unoccupied cart. And an unoccup a, a cart with a chest in it, even if it's full, is really the same as an unoccupied cart. So what you want to do for that, we really have two different things going on here. One of them will be, well, I'll show you. So this Enderman's creeping me out. So basically what I've done is I loaded up this cart with a bunch of the stuff that we had, just kind of randomly stuff, and I loaded myself up as well. Um, I have a mine cart with a furnace as well, which we'll use here in just a second. I wanted to show, so if we, man, these guys are creeping me out. All right, if we, uh, if we fire this thing off, it's going to go just a little ways. It's not even going to make it to our first our first uh, cart there. So what we want to do is we want to take the mine cart with a furnace. And then we're going to take a couple of coal. So we'll put the furnace cart down and throw some coal in it. And now it's just going to be a powered cart. So that will just push and they'll use the powered rail every once in a while to get a little momentum. But it doesn't really help. So that's kind of cool. Um, that's how those things will get there. And then we'll take a regular cart and it'll shoot us. We'll give those a little bit of time to get going so you can kind of see it's just going to trudge along pushing that cart. I don't know how far it goes. I should have thought about that. I'm not sure. I don't know if it'll make it far enough with, with just that piece of coal. I haven't tested that. But anyway, you'll see there they go. They're heading up the hill. And I think they went out of draw distance, I hope. I should go check. Or they got jacked up. I hope they're out of draw distance. Let's follow it and see. <laughs> so, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go back. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. Okay. So, uh, the other thing that I wanted to say... Oh, I wanted to ask about the brightness. The brightness is cranked up, and it makes it really difficult. I had to turn it back down just so I could see if there were dark spots, and there were all over the place. It's just really hard to see. So, if you guys like the brightness up, I know it makes it a lot easier for you guys to watch, and if that's the case, I'm totally willing to do it. If... Um, if if it's if it's worth it for you guys, it's worth it for me. Um, it does make it a little harder to play, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me. Might as well just have one extra spot, and we're gonna hop in a cart and go for a ride. So to do this, we just plop it down, hit the button, and 
And the Enderman gets in the way. Let's try again. So, yeah. Let me show you what... So so this is a, a momentum generator as well. This is a launcher. So you just put a make three blocks, put two power blocks in the bottom, one exit going one direction, no exit the other direction, and then as soon as you apply power to it, it's going to launch it out of there. So let's see if we can time this. All right, let's go. Oof. So it launches us out, and then you can see we're we're maintaining momentum a lot more than that than the the uh, cart with the stuff in it. So anyway, here we go. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, this is really about it. Um, we'll come back down here and do some more adventuring. I wanted to go, just kind of get this stuff all back over there. We'll we'll send another cart full of stuff here shortly. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. So that's cool. Well, let's uh, let's pull these up. And that one I'll just... I think I have to pull it up. I think it'll turn into a furnace and a cart when I'm done. But um, I have another one. So, yeah, I guess... Let's do this. So that we can get going on an adventure. I'm going to put all but one of those away. All but one of those. Uh, put away the... Uh, that I moved all this stuff out too. I guess I should note that I moved everything that was in there into here. So this is going to be kind of our our main area. Um, and you can see, oh, I put a tree down. So I put a tree down. Tried to put some uh, bone meal on it, and it wouldn't grow because I didn't have <laughs> enough. <ro> <coughs> excuse me, enough room for it to grow. Apparently, and then when it finally did grow, it grew pretty big and I don't know if that's because I dumped a bunch of bone meal on it I didn't realize I was wasting bone meal but anyway um, I, I don't know what happened and I might have actually spoke about this before I'm not sure if I did so anyway I have a I have a uh, a staircase now that goes down to the compound and whatever okay so let's uh, let's make ourselves some armor we got about six minutes what I wanted to do is just uh, we might not get a lot done I really just wanted to kind of catch up on all the work that I had done and see where that got us so we're gonna make a helmet and I think we're gonna go ahead and make well let's make pants no why would I make pants we got tons of pants let's make boots like that and then we're good to go so I think what we'll do is we'll just leave our breastplate for now, although it's not going to last very long. But it'll hopefully at least last until we get through this next fiasco. So let's see. I'm gonna oops. I'm gonna put this away. Put some of this stuff away. I don't need all this coal for sure. Um, got some potions in case we need them. I don't know what a golden apple does. I think it's health. Uh, put some rail back. I'm not going to need that. Well, yeah, we'll ride the minecart back down. Oh, wait, I got tons of... No, I think I'm good. Okay, so I got some swords. I think we got pretty much everything we need. We got the essentials for an adventure. So let's go have one. What else was I going to put away? This leather. I don't need all this leather. Let's put it... Let's put it right here. All right. And... Oh... That's right. I'll put it down right here. Oh. <laughs> I have to push it quite a ways, apparently. I didn't put much powered rail down there. All right. And I think the first thing we're going to do is kind of head out the other direction. Um, the other thing you got to watch out for is you don't want monsters on the track, because it can actually, I think it can derail you and not just bump you off, so... Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and pick up the cart, and yeah, I guess the only other thing I was going to say is that I did a little mining back here to get all that granite, so. Alright, next is heading off this way. Let's give it a shot. Who knows what we're going to run into over here. All right, we're going to put down... Oh, I probably should have got rid of those redstone torches. I'm not going to need those. We're going to put down a lot of torches over here. Because I'm pretty sure it's really dark. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that a ghast? No, that's coal. <laughs> that kind of looked like a ghast to me. Doesn't it look like a face? Crazy. All right, let's see. 
keep up with the torches. It really is. It's it's crazy because the torches are, or it's so much darker here than you think. And what is that? Enderman or spider? No, skeleton. The last thing we need. It must be really dark over there if it's that dark. <laughs> And let's eat. So, I'm sure there's something cool over there, maybe intersection number two or something, but we'll we'll save that, and we'll come back to it. We are pretty free with our torches at this point, because I just don't know how much I need. Alright, let's see. What's in here? This is a cool little... Fortress. Nice. Nice boats. Okay, we'll take one boat. Well, let's take... Let's just take all this stuff for now. The boat's cool, though. Alright, so I've been thinking about... Man, it is darker than it seems. Freaking me out. Yeah, I know. I don't like using that many arrows, but he wouldn't give me time to pull back for a critical hit. Alright, what do we got? About a minute left? Something like that? So let's, uh... I'll probably stop here. My What I'm trying to do is decide on my plan of attack here. I want to... What's up here? Oh, nothing. Put a torch up. What I want to do is uh, decide how to get that because I'm pretty sure if I if I shoot him and blow that up, then I'm not going to be able to get what what's in that what's in that uh, chest. And I'm not even really sure. I mean, I guess he's asleep. I don't really know how this works. I haven't actually ever been to the Nether enough to know what's going on. So, oh nice. He must have got shot. They don't like to get shot. Yeah, let's uh let's go really quickly. Well we can't. Let's just come out here a little ways. I'm not sure if he's gonna wake up if I get close to him or what happens. So that's my problem. And I don't know what happens to that chest if I shoot that thing and blow it up. I think I don't know, maybe he's tethered to it or something? I don't know. Anyway, alright, well uh we're about to see the buzzer or hear the buzzer. Um I think I'll just come back and we'll we'll deal with this differently when we get back. I might just make a run for it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. The safest thing to do would just be to blow that up, but I don't know what happens. I don't know what's what's up with that guy. So, all right. Um we will be right back. Well, not right back. We'll uh, we'll be back and uh and we'll figure out how to deal with our situation. Um yeah, I just again wanted to kind of give the update on the on the rail system. I know we didn't get a lot accomplished, but next time we will uh we will clear out the rest of the chests and whatnot in here and we'll head out to the next destination. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you next time.